we are on our way to get dinner I'll with cucumber and cream cheese and, and we decided to go to the Ruby Tuesday Hey guys, so I just wanted to start my vlog. All of us are about to go out for dinner as a unit, as a family. So I'm excited for that. So I'm about to get in the car, doing a little bit of play-by-play -play action. I am now in the car. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do a play-by-play. -play. <laughs> but, so how's your day been? I was actually waiting for you guys to actually answer that question. Mine's actually been really good. I've been productive. I've been smiling and happy, even though like, we are going through something. I'm about to fix my eyeliner because it looks a little messed up over here. So right now we're actually currently at the mall. Um, one of our candles from Bath and Body Works wasn't working. So Becky wanted to just return it in because Eric said that you can do that. So Becky's gonna go in there. Well, she currently is in there and she's gonna get a new candle. You guys, this is like a non-scale victory. I, I like, whatever, I don't like saying that so cliche, but like I'm in the mall. Like I walked in the mall and I've been walking around. It's hard, I take breaks and I rest, but I'm actually doing it, so I'm like proud. So we are on our way to get dinner. I'll actually show you, Becky got a couple more candles than I originally thought, so I'm super excited because I haven't even seen them yet. So we will show you those when we get home. And I'll show you what I'm eating. It's this place called Sunny's. Oh my god, it's so good. This is my tiny little cheat meal. And when I do this, I usually only have just this one meal. And if I feel super hungry later, then I'll have a small meal that's like really healthy. Like veggies or fruit and things like that. So it's actually the end of the night. I'm not going to end my vlog right now. But I forgot to show you my food at Sunny's. I got pulled chicken. I got macaroni and cheese. And I got a... What is it called? Cornbread? Like a cornbread muffin. So good. And I didn't show you guys the candles yet, but I can show you guys tomorrow. But it's in the night and I forgot all about that because we were all hanging out and we we're watching some show on Netflix called Two Sentence Horror Stories. It's they're like really creepy, but hey guys, so it is the next day. I have a little bit of a leftover makeup situation. I know it's a really bad habit, you don't have to tell me because I already know. But at least I'm not the only one who does it. It's actually pretty common. So, I just wanted to share with you what I'm having for my first meal, an apple. That's not just what I'm having. Oh, I have a piece of cream cheese on it, cute. And this, it's a multi green sandwich thin with cucumber and cream cheese and a veggie patty. It has become one of my favorite things because it's super fresh because of cucumber, so. Hello. So this is actually one of the candles that we got. The other two are in the bedroom. This one's leaves, which is one of our fall favorites, and we actually had it on last night. Amazing. So hello, I know this is an awkward angle, but I'm an awkward Sally, so. You guys, my skin is so dry. I'm an actual mess today. We we're going to drop off Becky's sister because she stayed the night last night. And we decided to go to the Ruby Tuesday just to catch some dinner. I got tilapia and shrimp with mashed potatoes. Oh, I'm a mashed potato fiend. Oh, there they are. I was vlogging. <laughs> no, you're good. So. So we just just dropped off Becky's sister and now we are on our way home and we are driving with the windows down because it honestly feels amazing out. Look how beautiful. Oh, okay trees, thanks. So if you guys want any idea what Kentucky's like, here's the perfect shot for you. <laughs> just kidding. So I'm that type of person that when we're in a car and I see cows, I'm like, oh my god, look, there's cows. They're so cute. So loading the dishwasher. That's so gross, I'm sorry. Lock it. Start it. Bam. Dishwasher is loud. So 
it's like low-key in this house for the last week we've had friends visiting family visiting like it's just been like constant hustle and bustle and it's been an amazing distraction but now no one's here so i got my boxy charm and i just want to show you guys what was in it i just want to open so we can get down to the nitty gritty we have tardius pro glow which i actually really do like tar so it's a liquid highlighter which i'm actually really excited for i'm currently using a powdered one we have lip plumping gloss in harley nude by iconic london i'm excited for this because i have been experimenting with lip colors like in the vlog in this one the lip color for yesterday actually mixed two of them together and it came out exactly how i wanted it marvelous moffs i'm sure i pronounced that wrong but that's okay Ooh, i love this oh my gosh this is so cute i adore the colors look at that and yesterday i wore um eyeshadow it was like a pink color but i'm sure you guys noticed here we have pretty fitter it's a glassy skin balm and it looks like this Ooh, it smells good i'm actually going to try this for sure so last thing in here is another cosmetic sponge and this one is black i recently got one and it was blue okay you guys so it is comment of the daytime paste load so we have a little over 2700 comments that have to load the last video i uploaded is called getting healthier so i'm gonna let these load and i'll see you guys in a second okie dokie okay i feel like this is a reply to someone because it says jazzy DQ. i'm sorry for pronouncing that wrong because i feel like i did so since that's directed towards someone else i'm not gonna read it girl becky's gonna lose all her weight and leave you for someone else if you don't do something soon again that's just an assumption becky is a wonderful person and her love for me is not based on the number when she steps on the scale or the number when i step on the scale so damn funny i really needed to laugh tonight well i'm glad i made you laugh i don't I'm, i feel like that's a little bit of a sarcasm but if you laughed great <laughs> honey i husband passed away five years ago we do not want what she has oh hell to the no i'm very sorry about your husband uh, my heart goes out to you so i'm sure that's like really really hard but i'm not sure what you mean by the end of that oh my gosh what creature is this they should put this elephant in a zoo she has no eyes her and her girlfriend look alike well if i look like becky that means i'm beautiful because i think she's beautiful um, this is a reply to someone. Yes, you are. You say it 50 times in a video. Stop lying. I don't know what that's about. Um, you misspelled heavier with healthier. No, I'm actually not heavier. I'm not getting heavier. I'm actually getting healthier, which I'm very, very happy about. I don't mispronounce things on purpose. Sure, Jan. Oh my gosh, I really don't. Like, it's one of my one of my biggest insecurities when it comes to like things that are not about my body obviously because I'm very insecure when it comes to things regarding my body but yeah <laughs> why would I want people to make fun of me you know Amber I believe that what you need is an inpatient weight loss facility due to your size and your serious problem with binging you cannot lose weight on your own anymore there are a lot of good ones in your country so I actually don't agree with that but I do appreciate everyone's advice obviously I just I don't really have anything else to say about that girl we know you took that spinach off Becky's salad and put it on yours you ain't being healthy just hefty actually Becky didn't have any spinach from what I remember I don't really remember what her salad looked like Becky prefers romaine lettuce while I prefer spinach that comment is actually correct we don't care we just watch the you're a 28 year old woman using a scooter that makes over 10k a month because you have eight yourself into your own nobody is hating on you we don't get your arrogance and self-entitlement i don't understand why people want to watch something again that it puts them in a negative space whether it's train wreck or any other reason i for one will never get it because i like watching things that make me feel a certain way like happy or inspired in some way that's just the way I am and yes I do use a scooter because I myself have made myself be over 500 pounds and it's hard for me to do things and one day I hope I don't have to use a scooter and that's why I am trying to work on that um, 
looks like that's a reply to someone. She's good at pulling stuff, like pulling stunts. I don't know what that means. Um, if that's like regarding me pulling stunts, I don't. How do you make frozen grapes? Wash your grapes and then put them in the freezer. <laughs> um, good job going out and eating healthy. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. It was really hard because I really wanted um, Chinese food. It was like so hard. Becky salad, healthy greens and vegetables. Amber, sea of brown, salty, high calorie carbs. It was so good. And I was actually very proud of myself. I mean, people can say what they want. What is chaos for the fly might not be chaos for the bee. That's just how I feel about things. Like what I chose on my salad was actually really healthy compared to what I wanted and could have chosen for sure. She's, why is that? <laughs> That's weird. Out of so many comments, this one popped up again. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Looks like she's drowned the whole thing in dressing as well. I actually did not put any dressing and I did say that in the, um, the video because if I already had like a pasta salad type thing, I knew that was gonna give it a lot of flavor and I didn't wanna add like those extra calories and I didn't need the dressing. So I really do like enjoy doing comment of the day because it gives me a chance to like answer any questions or just kind of like talk to you guys more one-on-one. -on -one. But if they are gonna keep being like rude like that, then I don't really wanna keep doing it. I just think that spreading so much negativity is not gonna help anybody, whether it be the people sending those things, whether it be me reading them or any of you watching who are also in a negative headspace and they don't really wanna be hearing things like that. So, I'm gonna try again in the next video. Again, if they're just constant hate, then I'm gonna have to stop. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next one, bye.